your voice was just fitted perfectly. I think there were quite a few, five auditions or six auditions. And um, I think I saw you, I got to yours last. Right. And um, yeah, I, I, I kind of made up my mind about what, there was one of them that stood out and I thought, yeah, that, that's going to be that one. But let me hear the rest out first before I make a decision. And then I heard yours and I was like, oh, it's, it's him. He is it too. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you order my father's execution? She dragged the point of the blade an inch to the left, opening the wound further, as a warning against further lies. Please, I have no f***ing idea what you're talking about. His voice rasped from the blow to his throat. Wrong answer. Goodbye, Mr. Tayoka. I hope you burn in hell. Wait, wait. Don't. There is something, he begged. It better be something I can use. Your father was killed by Oni no Hanzo. That's true. But Oni no Hanzo didn't take orders from me, he said, cowering beneath her blade. Thank you, but that doesn't really tell me anything, does it? Anya shoved the corner of the robe in his mouth, then reached down between his legs. His eyes widened in fear. Without warning, she ripped the ring from the end of his penis. His muffled scream did not alert his men or afford him any mercy. My f father, he stammered, his voice still muffled but sobbing now as blood poured through his fingers. All right, well, let's go back to the beginning then, growing up in Leeds, for people who are watching from outside the UK. Leeds is in Yorkshire, uh, the north of England. It's got, um, I'd say it's got a, a more industrial working class kind of identity, whether you know that's true today, but I think that's that's the heritage of Leeds. What was your upbringing like? Uh, it, was, it was very different. Um, I, I grew up in, in the Thatcher era, so... Um, the country was a totally different place. It was in transition, I guess, at that, that in that period. Um, it was it was interesting. It's it's uh, I I love Yorkshire. It's, it's it's I'm I'm proud to say that I'm I'm from that part of the world, and uh, I'd, I'd I'd encourage anybody who who visits the UK to to go to that part of the world. And and Leeds, for me, um, made me the man I am. Um, you know, it's a it's a the, there was there were different bunch to the people down here in the south. There is a, a north south divide, I would say. <laughs> it's very true. Um, the sense of humour um, is is one thing I miss. That you, you can't beat the Yorkshire the Yorkshireman's sense of humour. Um, it's slightly different humour down here. So um, growing up there was yeah, it was it was wicked. Yeah, I, I love. And it. what did your parents do for a living? Um, my parent, my mum was in retail, and my dad was in finance. Um, when I was younger, um, but he's gone on. He's gone on to do a lot of other ultra um, entrepreneurial stuff. Um, he, he used to run a, a hotel in Ethiopia, actually. Wow. Um, yeah, and um, he's now he's now. I'm not sure what he's doing now. To be honest, with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's reading your book. That's what he's doing yeah. right this second. That's definitely what he's doing. So, um, you 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 grew up in in Yorkshire. Typical upbringing, and you were reading books. I'm guessing. What kind of stuff were you reading? As a as a child, um, I've, I've re read all the classics, um, um, sci-fi stuff. But I was more into kind of movies when I was a kid. I wasn't too much into to reading. I did like to write little short stories and poems and stuff when I was a kid. But yeah, uh, it was more watching movies and stuff. Science science fiction, obviously, um, was my thing. But also a lot of horror movies when my mum wasn't around. Um, my, is my thing. Yeah. Well, I, I get that because in the book, and how do we say the title? How do we pronounce it? Is it I symbiote? Yes. I, I symbiote. symbiote. And what does yeah. I symbiote mean? It's basically um, intelligent symbiont. So um, 
as in, as you know in the book, I'm the main the main character Anya Nishimura. Um, she she has um, a symbiont inside her, a, a piece of AI that speaks to her. It's almost like a, you know, um, it, it's artificial intelligence kind of thing that that speaks to her while she's while she's um, on her journey to get revenge for her father kind of thing. So it's it's that relationship, that symbiont relationship that she has with the AI, is the reason for the title. Uh, right, and it is it is just brilliant. I mean, just brilliant. Um, the 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 AI itself is a main character, as you said. Anya is the is the protagonist. What surprised yeah. me most when I found out about you, because you and I were communicating as we did the audio book, yeah. and uh, and it was just through the ACX messaging service, which is basically just like email. And so I thought, because Anya is a female, I thought you were a lady. Yeah. I, <laughs> Because it's just MJ Hall and your name's Mikey. So it could have gone either way. And I was very surprised to find out it was a Yorkshireman. How yeah. how <laughs> did you get into that side of the, the feminine head? Because you're right in her head. She's the protagonist. In fact, yeah, I, mean, I think just now you even said I, meaning when you were talking about the, the character. Know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how did you do that? Yeah, I mean, she's a kind of a, a culmination of a, a lot of influential women in my life and um all the all the the most brilliant people i've ever met in my life have been have been women like superheroes um my grandma my mother um various different people and you know i wanted to build a character that was a woman but but strong and, yeah. and solid so um i just took bits of of their strength and kind of just put it into her. Um, She's a, mentally character. strong as well as physically strong as well. Yeah, yeah, she goes she goes through a lot in the book. Um, you know, not not a lot of people could could go through even as a baby from from the start. I think she she goes from from there to you know the book end, just going through all these things. And um, there's so many more things that are not in this first book because this book this first book is kind of an underlay. Of, of the this is overall. your debut masterpiece. That's what this is. Yeah. Well, you know, I think there's a there's still. I think as a as an artist, when you write something, it's never quite. Well, I feel like it's never quite finished. And um, right. even when I read it now, I, I'm like, oh god, you know, why, why didn't I say this or write it this way or do that? And it's just an an endless task of of writing. Um, editing, like the editing never stops. I could still edit that thing right now. <laughs> I, I was ed editing it for two years, and uh, I still feel like it's it's not been done. And I've had various different people edit it for me and stuff like that. And yeah, it just, I mean, it just it's a continuous uh, process because I, I think as I go through life and my mindset changes, and the more things I learn, the more the world that I built for Anya and the characters that changes as well. So um, I could. Yeah, I could write that thing until the day I die, I think. I could continue to add to it and write it, um, you know, all day long. Well, Anya's yeah. the main character, and she's yeah. she's British with Japanese heritage. Yeah. And the other main character, really, is Itsu, is the is the AI that's, that's inside her and, and talks to her. Yeah. Uh, what was the inspiration for, for Itsu? Because Itsu also narrates the book. Um, yeah. Well, narrate yeah, narrates the book, and of course. So when I did the audio book, I had to be Itsu. Yeah, to, yeah. To, so I, I took a kind of a an, an innocence uh, for him, and 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 used a lot of data from Star Trek. If that makes sense, is that yeah. was that an yeah. influence? In a way, um, the the a lot of the technology and obviously yeah, the his mannerisms, I guess. Um, uh, influenced by data because I, I, I'm a big Star Trek fan as well. So, um, yeah, that was a, that was a huge influence. Um, another one from Star Trek was I, I don't know if you've watched Voyager, where the Doctor is actually a hologram. Um, no, I haven't. Oh, I see. So, yeah, right. 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 Yeah. So he's actually yeah, he's, he's got this kind of mobile emitter. Right. On his shirt, and when he when he um, presses it, it kind of he comes in kind of a solid form, but he's a hologram. If if you know what I mean. Right. Um, so uh, the the actual appearance came from him, and the the mannerisms and the way he is came from a mixture of data and a little bit of um, Spock, in a way. Yes. You 
Yes, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Slightly confused about humans because they're very illogical. Yes, I get that yeah. now as well. Yeah. I think though I, I see that. I definitely see that. He was a fun yeah. character to do. The 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 whole book was was wonderful. And with Anya being British but coming from a, a Japanese family and she goes to Japan and most of the action takes place in Japan because that's where her family is. She goes on a... I don't, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it, so let me know if I'm getting too close to the story. But there are a lot of twists in the book. I mean, I was reading it and I thought I'd worked out who the good guys and the bad guys were and then all of a sudden, wait. When you, you put something together like that, do you have to map it out so you know where you're at so that you don't get confused or do you just is it just stream of consciousness when you when you write the thing? Yeah, it's almost, um, I, I've been writing it because it took like three years to write because I'm, I'm working mm -hmm. as well. And it was really tough to find the, manage my time to, to get it done. I bet. Um, but it almost becomes like intrinsic. Like I know where the story is and where, you know, where it's been. So it's, 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 it's almost like I've memorized the whole, the whole story. Yeah, um, and, you knew and, exactly and, where it was going. You had the outline in your head before you yeah, started I mean, typing. Yeah, that, that was part of the whole process was to construct the outline, break it up into small little pieces, um, and then the, after that, kind of you know, set your your writing schedule and and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I, I was quite quite organized with it. It was just you know, the secret of writing is actually doing the writing, and that was the hardest part. You know, was it getting down and just writing because um you know I'm, I'm in front of a computer all day with work um so finding the time to to then after that um you know continue on a computer to to to, to, to write my thousand words or uh, 500 words a day um was was quite tough but uh you know I've, I've learned from my experience i think the second the second book that i'm working on um i should have that knocked out pretty quick you know should be right but, quite easily you match fit now yeah <laughs> so when you're doing it then you're doing it in the evening does that make it easier or more difficult to sleep because it's either you're either going to be buzzed and and going over whether you've got it right or you're going to be knackered <laughs> which way did it go for you yeah a little bit a little bit of both um and as well sometimes you get your inspiration at the weirdest moments you can be just commuting to work and you and an idea pops into your head and you're just like, I need to get to the front of the computer and start typing because you've, you've come up with a great idea and you just want to get it down before it, before it goes. Um, sometimes I don't walk around with a notepad and just randomly, um, I'd be talking to myself in my head and my girlfriend would be looking at me like, what, what are you doing? I'm just like, I'm, I'm enacting the characters in my head because I've just come up with an idea kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, the idea is they come to you wherever it's, you it's are. It's a weird yeah. thing. The brain does that. It, th there's a technique. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called brain parking. It's if you're trying to solve something, and it doesn't matter whether it's a, a mathematical problem, or whether you're a physicist or whether you're a writer trying to work out a, a particular way to tell a story. They reckon often if you can just forget about it and just go for a walk, do something completely different, bang, yeah. the answer pops into your head. And and yeah. people do it. Brain parking, they call it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's strange because um, I have writing places as well. There's certain places where I, se I seem to get more inspiration uh, than others. Sometimes when I'm at home, I just get a mind blank. But then I'll go to a Starbucks where it's noisy. There's people everywhere. And for some reason, I, I, you know, I just get this flow of creativity. I just get all this energy and, and, and ideas. Um, it's weird because, uh, you know, sometimes... Sometimes I need dead silence. I need nobody around me, and, and, and that's when I get my, my my ideas. But then other times I can be in a crowded room and and and, and you know just write away. So it's a, it's a weird one. And with the book having so much content in Japan, and with Anya coming from a Japanese family, you've mentioned you lived in the Czech Republic, you lived in Leeds, you lived in Manchester, you now live in London. Do you have any connection to Japan at all? Uh, I haven't. No, um, I mean my partner's been to Japan, um, but I have never been. You've never but, even been. I've never even been, but I mean, I, I what I, I did a lot of research on 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 Japan, uh, even down to the area. I mean, there's there's it's a futuristic Japan, so it's yes, it's not the Japan of today. Um, but I I've been to Tokyo for a few days, and the Japan of today is a futuristic Japan. <laughs> so, <laughs> you yeah. know. 
Yeah, and um, I think that kind of makes it a little bit easier because th 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 there's actually a part in the in the book in the first few chapters where they, she goes to the park. Yes. Um, and she's with her, her love interest, if you like. Yes, right. Um, the yeah. is actually a, re a real park. There's, there's, you know, and, and I know that because I've, I've literally walked the streets of that part of of Tokyo on Google Maps. Oh, <laughs> all right, you've been there on Google yeah. Earth, and you've been through it and seen it. Be like in the in the kind of in the future, so she's. She's not in that park by accident. It's actually a, a, a real park. No, I know it's a real park because the name of it, and I forget the name of it now, I had to pronounce it, so I had to Google it on how to say it. And I was, yeah. hope, and I was hoping it was a real park because I was thinking <laughs> if it isn't a real park, there's going to be nothing on the net that tells me how to say this word. I'm going to have to get in touch with you. But uh, no, that was good. There's some, there's some real dark moments in it and some some quite I wouldn't say extreme violence but it's it's a pretty gritty book as well did you enjoy writing that side of it too yeah yeah um yeah it's it's uh it's probably my uh yeah a little bit dark too dark in in some parts I would I would probably say but I, I, I think I, I it did... worked I think in the parts where you've got it you really did need it to know the the level of the people she was dealing with you yeah, needed yeah. to you needed to know that so i think it worked really really well really yeah. it's a fabulous yeah. book it's fabulous it's one um, of those books where you know it took me it probably took what was it, a couple of weeks to to do it it was about three weeks did it take to do it i can't remember quick. Uh, i was quite surprised at how because it's what 10 hours or just yeah. over 10 hours that you did yeah yeah uh, yeah you did it you did it really quick i didn't think the process would be that's straightforward to be honest with you um, really you thought it was going to be trickier than that yeah yeah i mean yeah it was uh it, it, and 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 your, and your voice was just fitted perfectly i think there were quite a few five auditions or six auditions and um i think i saw you, i got to yours last right and um yeah i i, I kind of made up my mind about what there was one of them that stood out and i thought yeah that, that's going to be that one but let me hear the rest out first before i make a decision and then I heard yours, and I was like, "Oh, it's, it's him. He is it too." <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've got the exact voice that I imagine in my head when, because my character's obviously real to me. Yes. Um, and when I hear it to speak, that's you. It's uh, exactly how I imagine it. So. Uh, it was it was great to do, and and I was about to say it was one of those books that every now and again that I do that at the end of the day when I've been recording a piece of it and, and I, I go to bed and I say to my wife, I say, listen, listen, and I'll start telling her the stuff that's happened and the, the twists and stuff, and it was one of them. Um, and that's how I know the good ones from the... Oh, I've, I've done some really, really nice audio books, um, but that's how I know. Because I've done, I think I've done... I counted up the other day, I think it's about 62 audio books, including wow. yours. Um, wow. but the really good ones, I end up, they stay with me, you know, and I'm glad you, I'm glad you found the process quite, because I don't know how other narrators do it. I know some, you basically just hand over the, the, the manuscript to the, uh, narrator and yeah. then they hand them back the finished thing. And I'm always, I'm nervous at that. That's why I break it up into those two hour blocks and then get you to listen to it. And then, because we did have an incident at the beginning, didn't we, where I thought it was set in the US and gave all the paramedics American accents. And yeah. you said, no, no, that's in England, mate. And I had to go back and do them all again. But oh, I'd, rather, really, I'd rather I'd really rather do mean. that than, than, um, than have to do everything all at the end, you know? I'd rather do it as we go. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, that, I think that helped quite a lot, breaking it up into those, those chunks and and, and it helped both of us in a way because then when I when you send it over to me, um, there's not so much for me to kind of listen to and um, yeah, there isn't so up. much for me to correct because it's not always yeah. perfect and uh, and uh, I'm always there was a there was a bit that I think it was when I got near the end or was what there was a I think it was the father character and then I turned out he was in a really earlier scene and I realised. I'd, I'd changed the voice halfway through, so I went back and changed them so they were consistent all the way through. Because what I do yeah. now is I have an audio file uh, open now, and when a new character arrives in a book, I take the first line they say and store that. Even though I've right. got them in my head, I have a note with them, you know. And then yeah. uh, I, when I get to them later on, I play it back to make sure that I haven't drifted off 
the the accent or the voice so it's it stays consistent through the whole book and i keep them so so if i'm chosen to do the the others you know that the characters will all be exactly the same no absolutely yeah. i'd love for you to to do this this the um because how how i've got it in my head is that I like um the, the the first book is not actually the the first book it's almost like a um it's like an like i say an underlay um, there's plenty happens in it though mikey i tell you yeah. i mean <laughs> There's a there's a definite beginning, middle, and an end, though. Yeah, yeah, and 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 the, the next few books, there's going to be a couple of novellas and and a, and a couple of other uh, novels uh, in between the the beginning and the end of the first book. Uh, so that's how it's going to kind of look. It's going to be a whole series filling that gap of the beginning of the 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 uh, original book and the, the end of the original book. So, right. Um, so that's why it's called uh, the Erudite Saga. Is that why? Yeah. Because yeah, it's a saga, yeah. and I suppose you can pick up the story anywhere you like. If it's good enough for George Lucas to make th three prequels after the 1977 Star Wars, I think it's good enough for you. So you could jump in anywhere, couldn't you? You could even yeah. take other characters, um, yeah, yeah and, I mean, the, and, the give, world, and tell their the, story. The the world is built, um, and that's I think for me the hardest part is building that that world, and that's where I spent so much time in the first book just kind of explaining that world because there's going to be a lot happen in that in that world so I, I want anybody who follows the the story to be very familiar with that with that world um, yeah and it, i mean it's great if anyone's a sci-fi fan obviously they're going to love it but if someone is not necessarily in, necessarily into the the genre of sci-fi they should check it out too because it's just a damn good story it's just yeah. a ripping yarn and it moves at such a pace i don't think there's a flat spot anywhere in it it just keeps going i mean we, we mentioned how it's about 10 hours long the audio version but don't let yeah. that put you off that it just it just keeps on going and then it'll it, and it'll move to another country very fast and then there'll be something go on there and then bang and then it, it moves at a hell of a pace at the pace of, of of a james bond film i would you know that that pace and the moving for the locations and different things happening and then another character coming in and then you know a villain and then you bang, 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 bang. it just is yeah. great it's, it's really good to hear you say that i mean i, I one of my worries was um that the reader wouldn't be able to follow the story because I, I did it's it not only time jumps but it place jumps quite a bit yeah yeah so it, there's a lot there's a lot to kind of follow um and it was really tough being my first kind of not my first book because I've written quite a few it was just my first attempt at a published book and I just wanted the reader to be able to to, to kind of follow where I was trying to go with it so it's uh it's good to hear you say it's just uh, it's just a great book. It's a great book. And if you'd like to get it for free, you get, you can sign up to a three a free 30 day trial with Audible and you first you know, it's it's free 30 day trial. And if you go to the 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 link down there, not only will you find MJ Hall's website, there's also a link there to uh, Audible to where you can sign up to get the 30 day trial for free and you can get the book for free. And, you know, and you don't have to, but it'd be nice if you left a nice review, if you enjoy it, you know, yeah. um, that would be good. So, hey, great to finally meet you because this is the first time, you know, I, all this time I thought you were a girl. So apologies for that. But that actually yeah. shows you what a great writer you are. Just how you got in the in the characters, the, the characters headspace. Totally. You were just totally immersed in it and, and totally fooled me. But it's by MJ Hall. It is I Symbiote. It is an erudite saga, and it's erudite saga book one. You get it at Audible. You get it as Amazon. You get it on iTunes as the audio book. It's out as an ebook as well, too, isn't it? It must be. That's right. Yeah. yeah get it as an ebook. Is is it on paper too? Paperback. Yeah. The whole yeah. thing. Get it wherever you. But of course, you know, I'm partial to the audio book. Get them all. Play the audio book and read along. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, thanks very much and continued success. No, no worries. Thank you for having me.